Hi everybody, this is Fast Hunter 3944, and today I'm going to show you guys how um, I would make these kinds of stickers photo safe. And then I also, well, I'm gonna photo safe like these, but um, my example, a lot of people know who like have paper stickers. You can use the same thing on paper stickers. Well, not the same thing, you basically just like laminate it. Um, but yeah. So you can use this. And then for today, what I'm using are papers I printed off from online. And if you put these in resin, they would just become all nasty. So we don't want that. And I also have like some um, finished examples with this one. I guys have like a box full of them. So yeah, I like everything in there. I want. Anyway, so you're going to need um, printed off online stickers, or if you want to use paper stickers, you can. But I'm using these, so as you can see, there's paper from the printer. You're going to need a disposable brush. Now this part, the mod, we're going to need Mod Podge too. This part's optional. I'm still doing this to make my even more photo, or resin safe. So you want some Mod Podge, and I don't know if this is the right kind for the resin, so don't I don't even know, but I'm just guessing. This is a water-based sealer, so I'm guessing it's the correct thing. I don't want to focus. So this is a water-based sealer, so whatever. And then you might need a brush. I'm using this disposable one for it. You're going to need your pictures, obviously. And then you're going to need packaging tape. Now, if your pictures are wider than this, then you have to do, like, double layers, and you'll get a crease right in the middle. But if they're smaller than this, which I try to make them, then you'll be just okay. So, to get started, um, as you can see, I'll show you an example example. So, as you see, they're really shiny, and they don't have any creases. This one got bent, but yeah. They don't have any creases at all, which I really like. Yes, these are all horrible histories. I'm like freaking took that show. Anyways, oh, if girl 316 is watching, I have yours right here. So you can get like a little close up. I think that one's really cute. There's that one, that one, that one, that one. I'm not doing anything to the back of yours because I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. I don't know if you want one in resin, which, and then most of them are polymer clay, and if I had the, if I laminate the back, it's just not going to work with polymer clay. So, anyways, I can start it. Oh yeah, and you're going to need scissors. So first, you know what you want to do um, is cut out your photo you want, but you want to leave a pretty wide border all the way around it. I mean wide, I mean too wide, but a wide enough border like this one. So, just remember to cut around the photo. Don't cut exactly the photo because you're going to have to trim some off anyways. Or at least I do. So you want that. Now, what you want to do is you want to get your um, tape or your whatever you're using. I guess you could use like scotch tape, but it's just gonna like look maybe foggy. I don't know. Off. All right. So you just want like basically peel off a piece. We're gonna have it attached. We don't have to, I guess. It makes it easy for me. I think I see this. Now you're going to grab your photo and basically just place it on the tape gently and then press it down. And then you get no creases on that. Look at that baby. Yeah. And I've got to get some more off for this one. So again, you just, sorry if this is really bad angling. Place your photo on the tape. There you go. Then you cut off your photo. These are like the worst scissors ever. Basically because I use them for like cutting tape so much, it, get, like, it gets this like nasty layer. It was nastiness right there. So now you want to cut this in half. And I would say when you put your pieces on the tape, cut them in like basically like a size like this. This is an inch by like three inches just so it's easier to cut so you don't have like one giant long mass of photos. And then throw your extras away. And we'll stick in the trash. So now we're going to do is just basically cut around the border. So I don't know if this is in focus. Alright, so I just want to 
basically cut a little bit on the paper. This is not focusing. There we go. So this is cutting a little bit off the paper. And I'm just doing this um, just so I don't get all the tape on my scissors. And as you can see, there's a little bit of paper I cut off there. So now you want to do this one again. Wait for it to focus. I mean, if you go off the tape, that's fine too. I just don't like doing it too much because it gets really dull down your scissors and you gotta re-sharpen them and it's just a pain in the butt to do that. She's got to look at the tape right there. Alright, so now we have our finished product. And I'm gonna cut this one and I will be right back. Alright, so I just got set, got done trimming these um, photos. So now what you're going to do is this part is completely optional but I'm going to Mod Podge at the back just to make it even more safe and I'll hang it open. <laughs> like if I can get it open. This thing's like so old. I mean look at that. That's just nastiness right there. That's just pure nastiness. Ew. This crap gets like, this stuff gets like so old so fast. Where am I even at? Okay, there I am. Alright, so what we're going to do is you want to make sure you got a clean brush. This one's got cat hair on it, which if you have cats, you can't really prevent. So I just want to get a little bit on your brush and then just I might change sides. I might change paper because this is my good background paper. Alright, so now we get the nastiness of this calendar. It's got paint all over it. So now I'm just going to basically put on this and you want to put on a lot because it will start to curl. Like see, I put on too much and it's gonna curl. So if this happens, um just basically wanna hold it down and until it dries enough for you to let it go. Or you could always tape it down or put something heavy on it, which I usually do, but I don't have anything here. I can use this tape. <laughs> Alright, so I just put the tape over it to hold it down. Again, you're just going to Mod Podge the back. And this part is completely optional, like I said. Alright, everybody, so these have been drying. They're uh, still kind of moist if you want to put it like that, but um, it's going to be fine. So now we can get my fancy background paper back. So I'm sure y'all done looking at that nastiness of that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, I don't want to zoom in. Alright. So now we got our Mod Podge thing, and this is not shiny. Now we're basically just going to do the same process over. You want to get it and stick it back onto the tape. Now just to make sure you guys do this correctly, make sure it's really safe, we're gonna duct tape, not duct tape, tape the back. So again, you just want to lay down your picture. This one, might, this part might be a little more trickier because they are kind of bent and curled up, which I can't really prevent that. So again, just lay it down gently. I basically just like set it on there and then it just sets right to itself. And then cut. And then again, you just want to cut off all the surrounding tape, but this time you actually want to cut, um, like, to the line of the picture. So, this time I'm actually just going to cut where I want the picture cut. You gotta make sure it's really nice, so take your time on this, you got no rush. And if you're in a rush, you shouldn't be doing this because you can mess up on it. Well, that was a bad one. Whoopsies. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I laid my pa the tape down the wrong way. Now I was like, no. So we're almost about done with this. This is not very good background paper because keep, my cameras keep focusing on like all the feathers. Which is really annoying actually. 
Alright, so congratulations, you guys did it. I'm not gonna show all the other ones, but this is probably like a little resin preview up. I don't know if I'm gonna make a bracelet out of these or like a wall piece, but I print out this like cool marine one too. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you guys like this. Comment below if this guy has helped you out. Thanks. Bye.